Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today I'm kind of like effy. You know, it's kind of humid, it's kind of hot. And I know that, you know, Eric is recording his omatepe and I'm smoking something basic. It is the La Aroma de Cuba Noblesse. And um, this is the Toro box press called coronation all right but you can see the glue on i'll explain why i glued it on after i show you this again la aroma de cuba nobles coronation it is six by 52 box press as you can see the top is not very glued well but i will glue it on later 1950 per cigar box of 24 Wrapper is Mexican San Andreas Oscuro and internals are a mixture of Nicaraguans Esteli, Jalapa, and Namenji. This one has been rebranded since I believe 2017-ish. But being part of Ashton, we will see how that one goes. So you already saw, you know, the cigar cap was falling off. I kind of glued it on and uh, yeah, now we got to smoke this. You know, this thing looks nothing like a Mexican sandwiches. It's very just like a, you know, for color, it's quite even. Mmm. Leafy, musty, stinky-ish chocolate. Oh, the foot is just stinky. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, there you go. A small cut. There was no way for me to glue this any tighter because I tried to press it down, you won't go down. Like a mushroom chocolate, mushroomy chocolate. Yep. Light it up real quick. Now this one has been rebranded once already. I think there was another version back 2014, before 2014, around 2014. But, you know, this one's also popular with them too. Let's see. Oh, wow, that Nicaraguan tobacco shined. Mmm, salty. Salty caramel coffee. Woodsy, peppery. Oh, what? A lot of stuff going on. The smoke output is great. Little bit of mushroom, little bit of like dampness, powderiness. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right, first third, almost like 
got over the first third. It's actually pretty good. Pepper, sweetness, espresso, almost a little bit of nuttiness. But there's a sweetness that, I don't know, that kind of reminds you of a nuttiness, but it wasn't. A little bit of pepper. I can't stop pulling, like, you know, taking a draw on it because it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's sweet. It's nice. It's almost creamy. And like I said, the espresso was that, that makes it sweet. The combination is nice. A little bit of pepper that goes through your retro hill. It just gives you that little burn, but not too much. It's good. It's good. I think I smoked over the one third because it was pretty good. Yeah, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I'm not sure if it's still worth the price though. Even though the MSRP was at what under 20 bucks, just under 20 bucks. I paid $23 for this. <clears throat> Markup. Increasing price. But let's take a look at the second band first. It's pretty nice. Clean. Gold. Purple. I like that color. Very nice. No bless. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Really solid, thick paper. But it was easy to remove. So that was good. Anyways, second, third. Be right back. All right, second third came really quick because obviously I oversmoked the first third. But hey, second third. So second third, the flavor changed a little bit. Now it's like a dinkiness, woody, like coffee espresso, but like yeah, a little bit stinky. Pepper. And a little bit of nuttiness. There's still a little bit of nuttiness in there somewhere. It's kind of weird. But yeah, uh, I don't think it's as good as second, uh, first third. But second third is still kind of good. Just not as good as first third. I don't know if I enjoy that dinkiness compared to the nice coffee pepper, you know, taste. So now we're into the last third. Ugh, can't peel this off. You know what? I'll show you after I finish the last third. I'll be right back. All right, so we are done. Last third. As promised, here is the band. There you go. I like the purple. Uh, before, I think it was blue or something like that. It has a different blend, but that was purple. It was good. I like that look. It, it catches my eyes. I don't know, that light purple color. So, <clears throat> the last third, it became a really creamy, peppery, smoky, charred, Espresso with a little bit of sweetness. Almost like a, I don't know, like a latte kind of thing, but it's not, the, 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 the espresso is more strong compared to the rest of the flavor. Like I said, there's still a little bit of nuttiness, but that could be came from the, the, the espresso note. It, it's, <clears throat> it's really good. But, however, it is not twenty dollar good. All right, uh, I, I I like the cigar. It smoked pretty good. The smoke time is not too bad. Um, but I don't see this cigar being twenty dollars. I see it be more like maybe fifteen dollar range to be more reasonable. But it is what it is, you know. Uh, they changed the blend. They changed the the whole thing. Uh, to be a little bit better and set the price to be 18. I can understand that because before it was 16 and <clears throat> inflation all that, they changed it up. They increased a little bit, but no, you know, $4 is a little bit much. Yeah, 15 is where I think it's fair. Uh, and I think more people will be smoking the cigar if it's at the $15 range. I think people like the Mia more better, but this is not bad. This is a really good coffee cigar if you decide to smoke it with the coffee. So with that being said, that is the review for today. If you like it, make sure to like it. Yeah, if you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, check out swag, check out membership, and check out our podcast, which we've been recommending cigars on there. Um, so that if you're not sure what to smoke, try the try try the one that we recommended and see if you like it. All right. So that will be it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.